This is Dark Forces, a classic LucasArts first-person shooter that has regularly been referred to as the Star Wars version of Doom. Only this isn't Dark Forces. Not really. First, it's not running on a DOS machine. Or a PlayStation. There also doesn't appear to be anyone attacking Kyle Katarn, either. Now, rather than the Imperials finally learning their lesson and leaving Kyle alone to do as he pleases instead of getting killed in droves, the actual reason for their static behaviour is because this is the Force Engine. The Force Engine is an attempt to reverse engineer and rebuild a new engine to play Dark Forces in, a title which has been largely ignored in terms of upgrades by both LucasArts and Disney, much to the disgust of fans of classic shooters. Because the Jedi Engine was also used in the Western game Outlaws, the improvements made here will also find their way into that game too. Now, this isn't the first time a project like this has been attempted. With the ill-fated XL engine promising much, but falling just short. Well, I'm a great believer in personal redemption. And even though they owed us nothing in the first place, the creator of XL dusted themselves off and started from scratch with the much more focused goal of making a more modern Dark Forces engine a reality. As you can see from my captured footage, things are in a pre-release state. There's a sensible and somewhat conservative roadmap for the project, and there's still a mountain of work to be done on everything. But it's a promising start, and one that a lot of fans are interested in, as there are plans for voxel support, fan mods, and a newly orchestrated soundtrack in the works. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, that's right. After rescoring the TIE Fighter soundtrack, I decided to check if the Force engine would eventually support high-quality audio in place of MIDI synthesis. Browsing through their Discord, I determined that to be the case and I've started work on a replacement soundtrack with the creator's blessing. Soon you'll be able to go right back to the beginning of Kyle Katarn's awesome journey, and this time it'll be even better than you remember it. Links to the project and their official Discord are in the description, and a download to the pre-release is available right now if you fancy blasting a few stormtroopers without any resistance. Just try to give the poor Imperials a chance when this project's complete, okay Kyle? Oh. I guess not.